morning. God, what a wonderful sacrament. I have two words I want to study. The word amen. (laughs) And I think it's restitution. Or is it reservance? I'm exhausted and I'm headed to work. I'm grateful for my work that I do have because I do have bills to pay and myself to take care of. I've been trying to take care of others, but I'm only putting myself more in debt. I'm attempting to create equal energetic exchange. However, there are many times where I cross my own boundaries, where I do not respect and love myself. That is my personal testimony. And when I don't love myself, I'm not loving all children of God, right? So I have to take care of myself and give myself the proper nutrients and the proper mental energy, which may require me talking to my cells and my feelings and my being in a way that makes me feel regenerative, restorative, or accessible and able to provide for others in my deed, in my actions, not just in my words. I am never a person who says one thing and does another. If I say I'm going to be there, I will be there. There are a few times where I have allowed myself to not honor the word. But I had always followed my heart as much as possible. I have done things where I have crossed my own heart and done things that I knew were un, ungodly, unjust, unright, unrighteous. There was a time where I swore to God I knew exactly who the one was. And I made it a testimony that like I would leave everyone else on reservation. And that I would save myself for this one person. And I will admit temptations of even like self-chastity. And I feel like cheating in the mind does count. Looking at imagery of others. I do believe that that is against my oath personally. It feels it wrong in my heart. Like I am lying. I am cheating. I am stealing. I am unjust. Therefore unworthy of receiving said person as my husband. And it makes me sick to my stomach, you know what I mean? Because I'm the only one that suffers. Can I show you how pretty it is? Florida can be really beautiful. Let me show you the contrast. Excuse my judgments, Lord. I understand all creations are just and equal harmonious balance to the whole. I understand that we can only reflect what we have processed. Forgive me for being hardened in the heart and having iron rods in my eyes, or should I say splinters, where I cannot see straight because of my harsh judgments and my emotional attachments to outcomes. Let me also share my personal belief and testimony how prayer, the power of prayer, it started to flood. It started to flood really bad. And I got really scared. And I prayed to Jesus Christ. And like, I'll admit there was an inner kid in me who just didn't believe in Jesus Christ at all. At all. I was like, oh, this is just a make-believe story. And then I used to enjoy the stories of Jesus as even pretending. Like, wow, can you imagine this guy as a superhero? Wow, he's doing Reiki and he's doing all these things. And then, um, honestly, I prayed to Jesus. And I just created a space for there to be an answer to my prayer. And sure, the rains, they let up. 
And I believe that I had reached out to non-believers, and I believe that they had began to murmur unto God and to pray under their breath secretly to anything energy-wise that might be listening. People don't recognize how they call upon forces of evil to do their nature, of their magic, of their wishes. And they don't understand how strong their will is, how strong they are. Because they are made in God's image. And God gave them free will to worship other gods and to work on other powers of nature. And still, people choose to not even try to be like Jesus with their name, their purpose. Most people don't even know what their name means. Speaking of name meaning, I tried to open an online Etsy store and I was rejected. I'm hitting some issues. And I know Etsy is going to take a cut. And I'm going to have to get things in order. I'm very tired. As stated before, I'm very exhausted. And it's definitely because I had over eight donuts last night. I was even given free extra donuts because they were closing. And yeah, they would rather people eat them for them to waste. And, like, I would be tempted to go, like, pick up those donuts every night and go around and feed homeless people. I understand that it's not the most healthiest thing, but believe it or not, it does fill your stomach. But God, how it makes you so lethargic. I just don't understand, if you have millions of dollars, why would you create a major corporation that makes people overweight and diabetic? Why would you not be invested in the overall health? Why would you only be invested in something that feels good right now? Is that not slightly satanic, you know? (laughs) Of the flesh, of the right now. Like, um, I have a family member who likes to tell me there's Mr. Right and there's Mr. Right now. Some people don't want to pay attention have no conscious awareness other than themselves. That is the satanic agenda. If you get the Satanist Bible, it mentions worshiping yourself and not caring about the outcomes. In all of the religious texts that I've read and all the Zen masters, it mentions to pick the ending first and then to do every step in accordance. I know what I want my ending to be. I always tell everybody I want to go home. My soul remembers what it's like to be resting with God, I would call it. To others, you might call it your home planet. I call it the eternal rest. I mean, I call it many, there's, they call it many, many names. But my soul remembers this place. And there is a great determination to return from which I came. Perhaps I came here to learn to be human and to be of great assistance. But I'm going to do what it takes for me to feel that I am light in my heart and that I'm worthy of serving that rest because I have worked every moment of my life on this planet. Oh, it's hard to see. Oh God, it's so hard to see. Oh, 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 not gonna happen. Oh, they're looking at you, guy. Oh, I'm about to just have to, oh, excuse me, guy. Uh, bike. Let me just get up in ya. The weather is still eerie, and it's causing a great depression over me. I'll admit I've been additionally depressed in contribution to the loss of someone I was in contact with constantly. And I have gone from everyday contact to not a single bit of contact. Which you can only imagine how that can sicken and sadden a person who is used to the nutrients that is supplied in the light of the eyes of the people 
that are known as God's children. I'm peeling an orange if you like that sound. I'm trying to give myself some proper nutrients and energy before I begin my duties. I'm saying my thanks and my graces with my actions. <laughs> Part of me is like, should I be doing this outside instead of in my car? Mm. The Holy Sunday. Mm. The day of the sun. And there's barely any sun. I feel a sense of loneliness. Even though I have Sarah and my great friends, it's just not the same without that one person, you know? Not that my happiness and my greatest pleasures. Oh. <laughs> I just dropped my orange. I'm gonna give it as an offering to the earth. And truthfully, if he left, maybe he's not the one, you know? And maybe he knows it. Maybe he knows that he's really meant to be with Heather or whatever, anything else he's rejecting about himself that he's in denial of what's best for him. But how will you know if you never try? I don't know. I just know that I'm kind of depressed and I'm insecure and I'm lacking the emotional, mental, and physical support that I require <laughs> and that I have experienced so far in this life that I know are like for my best interests and that makes Trina perform her very best. And um, it's not easy for me to honestly give myself permission. Permission to <laughs> to eat. Sometimes I struggle to eat. Sometimes I struggle to even brush my teeth. <laughs> I definitely struggle with the will. To have that desire to just keep going and going and going. Some days it's strong. You know what I mean? It's like, it's so strong. Like, there's no telling Trina that she's not going to change the world. None. <laughs> and there's some days where she's like, man, what are you talking about? I'm doing the work. You know what I mean? Like, she, she'll tell you, like, oh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing. There's always a flip side though, right? That little ego, little devil on your shoulder that tells you you're not good enough. That you're not strong enough. You're not going to make it. You're going to make this bad thing happen. <laughs> What's your focus? What's your intention? What's your end game? My end game is to rest in peace knowing that I said I'm sorry when I should have. That I said thank you where it was due. That I said thank you in my actions, not in my words. That I left pieces behind. That the generations of the youth of the future could take advantage of. I am guidedly heavily, heavily by the heavenly spirit. And the spirit of my ancestors. <laughs> I know I'm not for everybody. I know I like to freak people out. Excuse me. Oh. So my sacred space is like the most vital thing to me ever. Most vital 
thing to me ever. I need to have alone time or else, like, I can have an autistic meltdown. <sighs> and for me, when I say alone time, I really just need quiet. So if you could be quiet around me and, like, have calm thoughts. Like, I can feel your energy under the door. Like, if you're having... I can feel everything. So I can't have you around me if you're going to be thinking, like, that I'm, like, this or that or that this perverted thought. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can have it sometimes, you know, especially, like, if I give consent. Consent is probably the most important thing for me. And, like, I feel guilty when I think of other people in certain ways without their consent. I like to be clean in my thoughts, in my words, and in my actions. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect and that I don't do things that are, like, against God's will. I'm, I'm still a sinner. I still disobey. But God is, like, a forgiving, like, understanding, workable God. Especially, like, when you have that guilt in your heart and you, like, know that you messed up and you have that. It's very complicated. And, like, I'm not even, like, a super religious person. I'm just, like, experiencing all these experiences. And this is just my personal feelings and my judgments on the matter. Not that my judgments are more accurate than other people's judgments. You feel me? But, um, let me get together my work clothes. And, um... My everything that I need. Oh, man. I've just been under straight stress. And constant... Constant duress. And constant go, 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 go. Constant do this or do that. Right? Bad. Excuse me. So. If you can send me some love. Some donations. Some words of motivation. Um... Man, I'd love to buy a new computer. <laughs> That's definitely something. Like, I definitely have super big dreams that I could just be a producer. But right now, I'm not getting a lot of people who are, like, able to be financially supporting me. And I can't lie. It makes me concerned. What kind of world are we entering into? I have two girls I believe I'm supposed to do readings for. Sometimes it's hard to tell when someone's sending a donation that's, like, just... So be like, hey, thanks for making videos. Or if they're like saying, hey, I want more energy from you, you know. So there's two girls, Danielle and Alicia. Um, I'm pretty sure you want readings. But if you could make some clear communications and then um, texting my Google, my Google phone would be wise. It's 561-231-0226. Okay. Please hit a ninja up okay I need to know what your intentions are um, I should probably put my it's my URL's website on that card huh I'm gonna have to make some new business cards eventually but first let me keep getting myself out there and keep establishing who I am and what I choose to do with this life and existence that I have left um Definitely should have taken my medicine. Totally forgot my water on the floor. But luckily in my trunk I have three gallons. However they are all in plastic. And you know how I feel about that BPA. I hope that you watch that BPA video. Um, I try to post like a bulletin. Every time there's like a really really good video that I want you to watch. I try to post a bulletin. But I am getting kind of behind. And it would help if there was like playlists and stuff. But I'm so disorganized. And really, I'm just all about going, creating. So it's good for you. If you're all about me, it's good for you to just stay on top of everything. Just watch every video and take advantage of that, of every little speck of energy that I invest into here, invest into you, to invest into us as a whole, okay? Um, those of you who have been working with me privately, you mean so much to me. Thank you so much for supporting me as like a business or as a person so I can just keep developing and investing in the future as I choose to with my resources. I have gathered materials that I enjoy sharing with others. Um, I've also, as stated before, I've had many of my things taken from me and many times been taken advantage of and still 
I guess it's the God or Jesus Christ or some higher energy that just somehow I still have the strength and the motivation and the belief that I can keep going. Um, especially after being as like bad and evil or wicked as I have been in the past, right? Like I know where I've misbehaved. I'm very open with my misbehavior. And then like, I can't lie, sometimes I'll misbehave again, you know? I mean, I'm very attached to my beliefs. Like, I definitely believe in, I would say, nudity. (laughs) Like, when we were with God and there was no need for clothes or eyes. (laughs) Excuse me. (laughs) I know, I'm silly today. I'm silly every day. You just don't really know me all the way. There are very few who truly, truly know me, and even then they barely know me because I barely even have any of that time alone with me to really know and develop me I, because I'm constantly working. I'm constantly in seva, constant, constant seva, seva, selfless sacrifice. So please let me continue to do with my life as I actually have joy in doing selfless sacrifice, but also I must eat and I must honor my word and do what's right. So let me get to work. Namaste. Jabaguan. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.